Hello, this is Chapter 8, Lesson 3, Model Equivalent Fractions. There's a couple key things we need to go over. You need to know what a numerator and a denominator are. A numerator is simply the top part of a fraction. So, in the fraction one-third, our one is the numerator and the 3 is a denominator. Fractions that represent the same part of a number are known as equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions is the main focus of this lesson. So they have here that they want you to model one-third, so they put down a one-third tile, and then they want you to find fractions that are equivalent or the same as that. And so they, second, they give you one six tiles, and you'll notice that it takes two of them to equal the same distance or the same size as the one third tile. So we find that two sixths is the same as one third. When you use twelfth tiles, you have four tiles there, so four twelfths is the same as one third also. Because it covers the same distance or same space. Whoops, I need to clear this off real quick. Okay, <clears throat> on the next page, let's scroll up so we can see the top. It says the first number on the number line is divided into fourths. Plot one-fourth on the number line. So we'll use red here to plot that. So we go one-fourth of the way. You'll notice it starts at zero and ends at one. So one-fourth of the way to one is the red mark. Now using a number line, we're going to plot that exact same distance on the number line, but we have different fractions that represent that. Our second number is divided into eights, and if we count over, we have one, two, eights, so two eights is the same as one-fourth. And here on our third number line, it's divided into twelfths, and if we count over, we have one, two, three, twelfths that it is over so three twelfths is our fraction there. So our two fractions that are equivalent to one fourth are one fourth two eights and three twelfths. Um, this next part just talks about looking for patterns. We've done that before. You just describe any pattern you like. But we're not going to worry about that right now. What I do want to show you is the tools. If you, if you log into Connect Ed and open this up, You'll notice that there's these tools here. When you click on that, it brings you into the fraction tiles. You can always use these when you're doing an assignment. And so let's give an example. Let's find some equivalent fractions for one half. So if I have one half and I bring out some fourth tiles here, how many fourth tiles does it take to equal the same size as the one half. You can see that I can fit two fourth tiles there. So we can figure out that one half is equal to two fourths. 